Hello, everybody in the Soulful Goddess. I want to just invite you to come and breathe with me today, regardless if you're here live with me or you're catching this on the replay. You are invited to just take these 10 minutes or so um, to just breathe. So the breath work that we're doing today is we're doing a specific breath work that is geared to create an overall balance all over the mind, body, and soul. So this is a pranayama practice, um, which is this one particularly is the Nadi Shadna. So it's all about balance. And with this Aries moon that a lot of us are under, the last thing we are feeling is balanced. I don't know about you, but yesterday I lost my shit several times <laughs> and then rebound it and lost it again. So um, this to me is just a great one for us to be able to do together um, and really be able to, to learn how to just uh, receive that overall sense of feeling grounded. So this one um, in particular is going to be focused on nasal breathing. So balanced breathing is aka nostril breathing, alternative nostril breathing, and it really helps you to balance so many things. Not only our physical body, but our mental body. It also helps balance the yin and the yang in the body, as well as the two hemispheres of the brain. So you guys know that I'm always talking about inner child healing and ancestral healing. And any of us who have went through severe trauma, we normally only access one side of our brain. So when we do this form of breathing, we're also activating the opposite side of our brain, which allows us to um, tap into the intellectual properties of the brain and at the same time, our intuitive properties so that we are actually going into life, responding to things on an intuitive level and not a trauma-based level or a reactive level, right? Which I'm very guilty of. So um, anyway, this also allows you to clear your spiritual spine and be able to open up your third eye and once again, increase your awareness and really allow you to trust yourself and that the messages that you're receiving are little nudges from spirit and God and not nudges from your passing. Don't go there, right? So this also um, just helps you be able to tap into that. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to be using most of this uh, breathing technique is just our hands. So I'm going to go ahead and just have you start to allow your eyes to soften and close the eyes. And then just take a deep breath in through both nostrils. So breathe in and physically allow yourself to hear that breath in. And as you do this, just move those shoulders down, adjust your spine, draw those shoulders back and find the release in your seat. Okay. And go ahead and once again, just breathe in through the nose. Adjust the spine again if needed. And then you're going to just exit the breath, as weird as the sound, back out of the nose. Okay, we're going to do one more of these before we start the actual process. Breathe in through the nose again. And out. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to take your index finger and we're gonna go ahead and start with the right nostril, okay? This is also great because we are balancing that feminine and masculine energy as a lot of us are imbalanced in these categories. So we're gonna go ahead and breathe in through the left nostril. Switch that finger to the opposite nostril and breathe out through the right. Again, put that finger back on the right nostril, breathe in through the left, and breathe out through the right. We're going to repeat this 11 more times. I'm going to let you go at your own pace, and we'll go ahead and begin. Make sure you can audibly hear yourself breathing in and breathing out.
Just keep going at your own pace as you are also balancing the energies of the moon and the sun. So you will be able to feel more rested and energized at the same time, if that makes sense, if there's been a misbalance or a disharmony in those two. So just go ahead and continue till you complete that cycle. You should have just a few more breaths there. You may already notice a completely different shift in your energy. This is one of my favorite ones to do. It's also a Kundalini practice. And whenever you get done, you're going to just take that index finger and we're going to now switch to starting with that left nostril. So all together this round, there will be 14 breaths. So once you're ready, you're going to go ahead and take that index finger, apply it to the left nostril. Breathe in, and then when you're ready to release, switch that finger to the opposite nostril and breathe out again. Go as fast or slow as you want with this. This is your practice. This is your breath. This is your release. This is your balance. That's the beauty of breath work. You can always make it your own. You are so welcome, DJ. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Maddie, I'm happy you're here too. So just continue at your own pace. I know this feels weird. You may even have boogers fly out. <laughs> This ain't about being pretty, bitches. This is about breathing. Whenever you're finished with those, we're going to join in some final cleansing breaths. Now, ideally, you would want to repeat this cycle three times that we just did, or even four if you have enough. But whenever you're finished, you're just going to return to center, center, keeping those beautiful and handsome eyes closed. And we're now going to just start to slow the breath down. So go ahead and just now put that index finger back on that right nostril. And we're going to focus on breathing in through the left nostril. Hold that breath, allow it to balance the mind, body, and spirit. And release the breath out of the left nostril. Rinse and repeat. Two more. Yes, now switch to that opposite nostril. We're gonna do it again. Breathe in and out through the right nostril. Two more. Beautiful. How are you all feeling? So last but not least, let's go ahead and focus on some slow breaths, removing both fingers from our nose and just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Yay, beach is feeling good. Keep those breaths coming. You're going to start to feel your temperature change in the body. This is spirit's way of saying, honey, you have activated something that has been dusty and rusty. So keep doing it and let the body flow the way it's supposed to. Two more. Beautiful work, friends. Last but not least, let's go ahead and just give ourselves some love as once again, we have rode this roller coaster of the full moon Aries and she has came in and been ready to cut us in our throats and our backs. I'm like, dang girl, it's been brutal. So take your hands, just, just see mine here. 
take that right hand, see how the left hand's a little bit lower and my fingertips are touching my knuckles, the backs of my knuckles. I am going to do havening. This is one of my favorite cognitive behavioral therapy techniques. This is to really just reassure that the inner child feels safe and feels at home and feels at peace and feels balanced. So you're simply just starting right here on the back of the knuckles, sliding the way, sliding your fingers down midway, right above the elbow. Okay, I'm gonna do this just a few times. Keep your eyes closed. Feel your own inner power. And now just slowly start to take that right hand, putting it just above the elbow, and you're gonna now work it up to the shoulder and go gently across the chest, right above the elbow, over the shoulder, across the chest. This is all to calm the trauma side of the brain. Remember to breathe as you release. This is all about releasing the shit that keeps you prisoner to belief systems that are outdated, that no longer serve you, and were never meant to be permanent residency. And now just go the opposite side. Spin a little bit longer across the chest if needed. This is where we hold on to grief. If you need to cry, let yourself cry. Just let those emotions come out. And then slowly move both hands, starting at the third eye, going down the face as if you're gently washing your face. And then slowly bring it down to the neck. We're almost finished. I like to kind of start on my third eye, take my fingertips, go down my nose, down my lips, down my neck. Sometimes a lot of us don't receive touch. And we don't receive that physical need that so many of us have. And so just doing this exercise alone can help the inner child just feel loved and feel validated and be able to get that sense of touch that a lot of us didn't receive or don't have now. And last but not least, go ahead and just give yourself a beautiful hug. Take a final deep breath in through the nose and hold this breath as long as you can, high amber. And whenever you're ready, fill that breath, physically make its way out of the body and out of the mouth. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing you. Feel free to come back to this breathing technique as often as you need it, anytime you are seeking balance and grounding. And may it just give you the fuel that you need to finish your day strong and remind you of what an incredible person you are. Hi, Julia. <laughs> Love you, boo. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you for showing up. The more you show up for you, the more you show up, you can show up for the collective. And if you are in here, it's because you know that you have a light that this world needs and that only you can bring. Thank you for all that you do. Love you guys. Until next time, see you later. Bye, everyone.